Hi, I'm Paula from MemakeyThings.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this felt birthday crown. Now the way that I started this is I went to the craft store and I got a piece of this stiffened felt. You can use regular felt, but I recommend that you maybe uh, glue it together and use a double, uh, double it up for a little bit more uh, stiffness. But this stiffened felt works really great. Now to do a, a crown pattern, uh, you can do a search on the internet and find some templates or you can make your own like I did and to make a nice even uh, pattern like this you just need to fold your paper in half and and draw out your uh, crown shape. I used a ruler so I got nice straight edges and then open it up and have a crown shape. Now with a template like this it's pretty easy to just take a felt pen and trace around uh, like I did right here so I have this outline I will show you another way in a minute to trace shapes onto felt. But this is a pretty easy way and it's nice and stiff and when you when it you curve it around to make the crown it keeps its shape very well. Okay. Now, uh, hot glue works very well on felt. So to make the back side, the straps to hold it on, I'm just going to take a little bit of glue here. I have a couple of strips of felt that I've cut here. I'm just going to glue that down. Okay, so you can decide this one, I had the, the outside of the felt tab. So on the, the um, I used that for the front there. But you could actually, if you do it this way, it holds pretty well. So it just kind of depends on what your preference is. Um, I think I'll do this as the front on this one. So I'm going to put some... Uh, little decoration on there and this one is going to be some hearts for the decoration and I'm just going to hot glue these on here. You can use glitter or you can use jewels like I did on this other one or flowers or whatever your little princess or king or queen wants to uh, have on their crown. Now these little heart shapes, I'm going to show you in a minute how I cut those. Most people know how to make a heart pattern by folding paper in half like that. Or again, if you anything that you want to do as a project or a decoration, if you do a search, you can find a lot of, of craft patterns that are available to use for free out there. Okay, so I want to make another little, uh, a little white inset to put here. So I have a little white piece of felt here and this is freezer paper, just the freezer paper that you buy in any grocery store. And it is paper on one side and kind of a waxy paper on the other side. I think it's actually maybe plastic. And this irons on with a hot iron. I have it almost on the hottest setting. Now you want to keep it on the paper because as you can see, uh, I've got a little melted felt on there because this is a synthetic material and it does melt if you get really hot. So I like to be careful to keep it right onto the paper. It's sort of like doing an iron-on patch. And it will melt just enough to kind of stick it down there. And then it's very easy to cut out your shape. Much easier than trying to just hold it still or pin it down. Okay, now you can see how easy it is to just pull that paper backing off of there. And then I'm going to glue it down here as a little decorative inset there for my crown. Okay, so there I have my crown. Now I need to be able to uh, attach that together so it stays on the child's head. 
So the way that I did that is I just got these little Velcro tabs and you actually don't need to do the fuzzy side at all because these, uh, the, scr the scratchy side there will actually stick to the felt. So just put, and you could put maybe a, a number of these on there. So there's a, gives a little bit more uh, stability. But that will just, see how that just sticks down to the felt there. And that is how you would keep it on their head. So that is how you make a felt birthday crown. This is Paula from MeMakeyThings.com. Have a great day.